Hey what's up Ian here and I'm back with another unboxing video and this time I'm going to open up the CVJ Konoka. Uh, it's kind of unique. It comes with uh, one vibrating driver. I don't know what that does but uh, it's a vibrating driver. It's got one dynamic driver and one balance armature and on top of all these drivers it comes with tuning switches and the whole package comes at a price of just 20 US dollars just amazing uh, it's available on Linso's website so uh, if you're interested to find out more do check out the unaffiliated link in the description below now in this video I'm gonna open this up show you the accessories show you the IEM itself and then I'm gonna measure it uh, make sure the left and the right earphones they match okay and then uh, I will end this video after this video I'm going to uh, evaluate these earphones and I'll be back with a full review video so keep a lookout for that one so let's not waste any time. Let's first go through the specifications of this uh, IEM, but uh, it's a bit of glare. So let me just open this up with the uh, plastic. Just remove it. All right, now we can read. So it comes with uh, four different tuning modes, music mode, 3D movies mode, monitoring mode, and 3D eSports mode. I don't know what that means but anyway uh, the sensitivity for this is 112 the impedance is 28 ohms and the frequency range is 10 to 40,000 Hertz Wow there's no higher s certification on this but anyway yeah okay so th those are the specs let me just open this up if I can let me try to push this out and remove the sleeve yep I did okay and now it's to release the vacuum so that the box drops out but it doesn't right let me try using my fingers which I I don't have any fingernails but I'll do my best okay right so that's the IEM itself pretty straightforward let me just empty the contents inside and put the box one side all right so I've got paperwork that's one side yep all of this warranty card everything goes one side now accessories let's empty this box okay and uh, we have a few stuff in here we have the tuning pin which I'm not going to take out I've got too many of those uh, ear tips let's just take a look at the ear tips all right now two sets I think it should be the small and the large the medium should be on the IEM itself and this is uh, let me try and feel it uh, the inner core is quite firm the outer flange is quite soft uh, quite grippy as well and the silicone quality is not bad okay it's pretty okay it's a bit above standard all right so those are the ear tips and now I guess this is the cable let's open this up and see and yes this is the cable a very generic cable with a microphone okay a silicone cable and it's terminated with the uh, angled uh, 3.5 headphone jack very very familiar looks like KZ cables right Y split uh, microphone okay so this is the microphone play pause skip plus minus volume and then the ear hooks ear hooks uh, okay it's a little bit on the stiffer side and it's terminated with a QDC uh, shielded two pin okay so this is the cable well pretty common cable I would say now let's take a look at the IEM and this is the Konica yep clear so it comes in two colors this is the white and the other one is black so you can either choose white or black all right so they sent me this white which is not bad it's got this uh, frosted window here with a clear window and uh, pretty well I say plain faceplate okay and then on the inner shell inner shell is flat and the top of it has got the uh, QDC connector and the tuning switches and the uh, on the inner shell I can see everything okay where is the vibrating I guess this is the vibrating 
um, driver looks like it and actually it's not bad in terms of workmanship not much glue around the edges and the shell is quite I mean it's plastic yeah it's plastic oh wow I think I felt that I can feel uh, like a coil uh, shaking inside you know and it does vibrate without any sound I can feel the vibration traveling through my fingers when I hit on it nice so I guess it is a vibrating driver so I I'm interested to find out how this would sound in my ears but yep all right so now let's um, test uh, the sound of this so I'll bring out my measuring rig so be right back all right so I'm back and as you can see I brought out my measuring rig and I have the Konoka here with me and uh, let's begin first let's put the left side into the coupler which is right here and let's uh, begin first we uh, play the pink noise okay it should be playing and we set the level the volume level it should be 86 oh that's fine it's pretty easy to drive yeah look at the volume level I mean it's at about maybe 40% and I'm already at 85 dB so it's pretty good and uh, yeah so let me reset this graph and let it run for 30 seconds I'll be very quiet for that all right so this is the left side and looking at this graph it looks like it's a very well neutral base with a lot of treble uh, but yeah let me take the oh before that let's save the file and call this uh, Konoka all right and then I'll gonna I'm gonna recall it okay so now it's displaying on the screen now let's take the left side out and this is the right side let's put the right side in okay and do a volume check okay so I need to increase the volume a little bit okay about there so let's reset and let's do the test to see if the left and the right side matches let's go okay so I'm done with my test let's analyze this graph all right looking at this graph the left and the right channel uh, they do match uh, from 1k onwards uh, except for maybe uh, a bit of difference at the 8k and the 15k okay uh, and a bit of a mismatch at the probably about 100 Hertz yeah this is where the base uh, sub base and the mid base is uh, but other than that looks quite okay to me I guess and looking at this graph it looks like this IEM is uh, pretty neutral in the base a bit emphasis a bit of emphasis in the sub base and uh, the mid base is a little bit neutral and the mids are recessed and there's a lot of emphasis of the treble especially at the peak here at the 2k and that's telling me that's a lot of energy here uh, to the treble and quite a, a well a very spicy type of treble to me and it doesn't actually trail off until about 15k and it drops off pretty sharply okay so yeah well it's telling me that this is well, let's do something different let's um, try and tune this okay so I've got my tuning switch here and at the box here all right let's take a look at the box so uh, they were saying that if I were to switch the uh, both the switches uh, up or one one switch up I will get a monitor mode okay so let me just take a look at this oh both are up so this is eSport mode okay so if I want music mode I'm I'm gonna have to turn both switches off okay so let me just 
turn the switches off and see what I get on the graph. Okay, I'm not, not going to take it out. Okay, so I've turned the switches off. All right, now let's uh, reset this. Okay, and see what's the difference. Let me just put this properly. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the tuning with the two switches off. I'm not too sure well why, but uh, by default, when I took it out from the box, both switches were on. Okay, and now that I turn it off, which is this blue line here, uh, it shows that the graph is smoother uh, with, uh, well, a smoother uh, mid base, I guess, right? And less of the mid base uh, bleed as well. And as for the travel, it becomes a little bit darker uh, and uh, it rolls off even more. So, yeah, this is with the switches off and uh, you can see the difference. Okay, anyway, uh, as I mentioned, this video is just an, a very quick unboxing video. It's not a review video. I'm just going to test it out, see the channel balance and that's it. So, and well, that's it for now. Uh, after this video, I'm going to evaluate this earphones, try it out, listen to it, and I'll come back again with my full review video. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this unboxing of this uh, CVJ Konica. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. And I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.